Hey everyone, in this week's video, we're gonna be talking about a very common question among the homeschooling community. What is the best all around printer you can buy? It has to be able to copy, it has to be able to scan, print, double-sided, all that good stuff. If you've looked into this question before, then you probably realize there are two ways to proceed. One is to not spend a lot of money up front and buy something like a Canon or a Hewlett Packard product, which work great, but you know you're probably going to be spending a lot of money on ink the longer you have the printer. The other option is to spend a lot of money up front with the Epson EcoTank printer. It's considerably more expensive, but they advertise it as saving you a lot of money in the long run because you don't have to spend as much money on ink. Is that really true? Well, six months ago, we bought an Epson EcoTank because our previous Canon printer broke, and the Canon printer we had before that broke. In fact, six months ago when I started making this video, this is me explaining what happened to the Canon printers that broke and are currently being stored in the attic. And not too long ago, this one broke. Not really sure why, but it just stopped talking to our computers. The wireless printer, wireless things that don't talk to each other, they're kind of tough to use. You might be asking yourself, if they're broken, why do we keep them stored in the attic? I have trouble throwing things away. So the idea of the video is six months after unboxing it and installing it, I would have a pretty good idea if it ultimately saves money like it's advertised. I didn't want to do a product review two days after I bought it because how genuine is that? This is me six months ago doing the unboxing and installation of the printer for the first time. In fact, this is me telling you the date of the day once I was done installing it. Hey Siri, what day is it today? It's Thursday, January 14, 2021. And this is me telling you I would see you in six months. What day will it be in six months? It's Wednesday, July 14th, 2021. We'll see you then. Hey Siri, what's today's date? It's Friday, July 30th, 2021. So yeah, it's been over six months and I know all about the Epson EcoTake printer and I can tell you if we're ultimately on track to save money or if it's all a big marketing scheme and we're not gonna save money. As I mentioned in the beginning of the video, this isn't going to be a comparison video of Epson versus Canon versus Hewlett Packard, which one prints more color pages per minute, which one scans more quicker because in the end, we're not running a printing press here. If you're a homeschooling family or just a regular old family, you need something that prints and you would like to know which one is gonna save you money in the long run. And because of that, it's all about the ink. And speaking of ink, while I was at Costco today, I went to the printer section to get the most up-to-date information for the video. And as an aside, if you're like me and you go to Costco for one thing, but you end up leaving with three grocery carts full, then hit the video like button below because you understand, like me, the Costco struggle is real. But as you can clearly see, not only are there a nauseatingly large number of different cartridges you have to remember based on which Canon printer you have to buy, they're more expensive. And the key takeaway point here, and they even advertise it as you buy it, the Canon printer cartridge only prints about 500 sheets of black paper. But when you look at the Epson Incotank ink bottle, which is $10 cheaper, I might add, it prints 7,500 black pages. You are literally spending more money for 400 pages compared to 7,500 pages of the Epson Ecotank printer. And to show you how significant that is, if you're not new to the channel, then you know I love my top-down graphs. Let's go to the graph. So for something like this, all we're gonna need is a basic line chart with an X and Y axis. Our y-axis is going to represent the cost of the Canon printer versus the cost of the Epson EcoTank printer. And it's going to increase in increments of $50. Our x-axis is going to represent the amount of paper used over time. Most entry-level Canon or Hewlett Packard printers that do all-in-one functionality start at the consumer level at around $100. The Epson EcoTank, of course, is going to set you back $400 right off the start. But speaking of right off the start, when you open the box, Epson EcoTank printers come with a butt-ton of ink just to get started. This is me opening the box six months ago, noticing not only does it come with one bottle, it comes with lots of bottles. Even more bottles. Another cool thing about the Epson printer and the ink bottles is the clear windows they have looking into it, so you know exactly how much ink you have left over. No more surprises when you're going to print that large document only to get that window saying you need more ink and it's in the middle of the night and you get really frustrated. So as you can see here, for the first 7,500 pages, you have not added a single dollar to your initial investment of $400. And let's just say you lost the backup bottles that came with the initial package. At that point, all you're having to do is go back to the store for another EcoTank ink bottle for $49.99 and then you're able to continue printing another 7,500 sheets of paper. So now let's look at the Canon or Hewlett Packard alternative. As we discussed, every 400 sheets of paper, you're going to have to go back and spend $59.99 on another ink cartridge. 400 sheets later, another $59. Bucks. 400 sheets after that, another $59. Bucks. I think you get the idea. 
So as you can see from this graph, by the time you have printed 3,600 sheets of black paper, you will have spent the same amount of money as if you had bought the Epson Ecotank printer to begin with. So if you continue printing, by the time you have printed about 7,000 sheets of paper on the equivalent Canon or Hewlett Packard, you will have spent as much money on ink as if you had bought two Epson Ecotank printers to begin with. But don't misinterpret what I'm saying. I love Canon products. Our entire YouTube channel is filmed on nothing but Canon products. In fact, Canon, if you would like to be a sponsor to one of our videos, what do you mean they'll never be a sponsor to one of our videos? How many subscribers do you need? Oh, yeah, we, we don't have that many subscribers. Of course, I recommend you get whatever printer you think is right for you, your family, and your budget. But if you are thinking about the budget and are concerned about the upfront cost of the Epson Ecotake printer, you can look at this graph where the numbers come directly from the manufacturer and know that once you print 3,600 sheets of paper, you've spent just about the same regardless of what printer you purchase. And every sheet of paper you print after that is going to be saving you money if you are in the Epson Ecotank system. Now the Epson printer is not perfect, its screen is not touchscreen, and considering that much cheaper Canon and Hewlett Packard alternatives usually have a touchscreen, I certainly think that's a little bit of a negative considering the price point of the Epson printer. That being said, however, the menu system is pretty intuitive. Also, I think its printed pages per minute is going to be a little bit slower than the Canon and Hewlett Packard, but as I mentioned at the beginning, I'm not a printing press. I'm more concerned about saving money than how many pages per minute it produces. And to prove a point, as you can see here at this point, we've gone through about a thousand sheets of our initial 5,000 pack of paper. And as you can tell by the see-through windows, we still have plenty of ink to go. So it's certainly not a gimmick. These bottles really do appear to last about 7,000 pages. If you are interested in finding more about the Ecotank printer, click on the link in the description below. This video is a little bit off topic than our normal science videos, which we'll be resuming next week. I hope you have a great day, everybody and we'll see you then. Step number one, uh, unpack the printer. Did that, did that really need to be a step? Step number two, fill the tanks. Warning, keep the ink bottles out of reach of children and do not drink the ink. Open the ink tank cover. How do you open it? So once I went back and read the instructions without skipping a step, it was actually pretty simple.